son of the soil. Tungipara, a small green village beside the river Modumoti, is under Gopal Gond district. In the olden days, the villagers used to wake up with the chirping of hearts. Many years ago, it was not the same Tungipara now, full of the sound of the motor vehicles passing by the motorways. People used to move from one place to another by boat. The green nature, the open sky, the paddy fields, the glassy water of the river, the shapes of the trees, and blowing wind, blowing wind developed the villagers as fun-loving, friendly people. A baby was born there in a prosperous Shaks family on 17 March 1920. Do you know who this baby was? He was none other than our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Shak Mojibur Rahman. His father was Lutpur Shak Lutpur Rahman and mother Saira Khatu. Many years ago, at the time of his birth, who could understand that what potential the boy had? Who could realize that the boy would be? Who could realize that this small boy would be the father of the nation one day? Tungipara's Shak's family is very well known. Even there are many songs and lyrics composed by the local bards narrating their pomp and glory. A religious man named Sheikh Burhanuddin founded this family many years ago. The ruins of the old buildings stand out as a symbol of their wealth during Mughal era. Brick buildings were not common then. Over time, the next generation could not maintain the status. New tin shed houses replaced the brick walls. Shak Mojib's childhood was spent in one of those houses, as he says in his autobiography. It is difficult to say how Sheikh Burhanuddin came to Tongipara more than 200 years ago. However, he stood his tasses, Sheikh Khudratullah and Sheikh Akramullah fathers as his peers. They were landlords beside their own business and were very socially influential. They had so much wealth that once Sheikh Kudratullah told one of the British officer, officers, uh, officers, I don't count my earnings, I just weigh my wealth. Bangabundu and his relatives are the descendants of these two brothers. Mujib carried the spirit and tradition of these bold people. Mujib spent his childhood in Tungipara. All the local roads were his playground. He ran field after field in search of bird's nest. He was amused by um, kingfisher and weaver birds. The sweet melody of the birds, the sweet melody of the doves, charmed him a lot. This is why hanging out with other boys surrounded by nature was his passion. The pet lover Mojit also had pet monkeys, dogs, and different types of moira. He used to train the birds and other pets to follow his instruction. He took good care of them. In his early childhood, Mujib was a thin and lean boy. Everyone, especially his grandma, worried about his health. She always skipped, she always skipped some milk, butter, and homemade milk items ready to improve grandson's health. He had two older sisters, two younger sisters, along with a brother. His elder sisters were very caring to him. Everybody, everybody added to him. He was, he was nearby to the villagers and Kuka to his senior family members. Mujib had a burden of natural mind to mix with everyone. 